Hey everyone, this is Madass here again, and I do apologize. I haven't been making any videos lately. I've been pretty busy with a lot of things like work. I've been coming home pretty late, so um, I got asked a question today in chat room, uh, Stockhaven chat room. Somebody asked me to make a video on how I set up my scanner, and I do know that I did mention I would make a video in the future about how to set up um, my scanners uh, in a previous video. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So as you can see here, um, I use three uh, three sets of scanners here. Uh, OT one I call OTC Volume 25K, one I call OTC Volume 50K, and one I call OTC Volume 100K. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how I set them up. So um, by the way, this is E-Trade Pro, if you guys didn't notice. So if you go to edit, change strategy, there we go. And then you go to edit, so what I what I check for uh, what criteria that I use it's uh, it's pretty simple. All I do is I check pre market highs, and that allows me to um, you know find out any new pumps that are going on, especially if uh, there's an APS uh, pick coming out or something. Uh, the pre market highs will definitely uh, show up on the scanners. And then the second secondly, not the more important thing is um, block trade. Let me see where it is. There it is. Okay. So this is where uh, this is where this is what I mean by 25k, 50k, and 100k. So this is when a ticker goes through with uh, with a trade that's a 25,000 shares or more. It will show up on the scanner. So if you, if you know if you're looking for an APS pick and you see uh, you know 25k blocks going through, it will show up on the 25k. And likewise for the 50k. I do this I have the same criteria but in have 50k and 100k likewise I have 100k so the reason why I have three sets of uh, blocks uh, the, re the reason is because uh, I want to make sure that you know um, big big orders are being uh, going through um, a lot of that a lot of money is being is being put into the stock and that allows me to know whether or not to take a large position or not So if I see a ticker that's only has you know is only lighting up the 25k scanner Then I know that you know I might not be putting a, in a large position if I see a ticker lighting up all three then I know that it's a You know a, a very very high dollar volume ticker and I could uh, put in a lot uh, a lot of money on the on my trade and then um, the other thing that I set here is the price so let's see where you how do you change this okay I think it's here we go okay so uh, I just I just put the uh, minimum price uh, one cent and you know maximum price 99 cents of course this is up to your discretion um, you can put whatever you want if you don't trade stocks this low you can put you know 10 cents or something uh, you could also change this to you know five dollars or so I just didn't want you know my scanners to be flooded with uh, you know with a bunch of uh, a bunch of random tickers. So um, that's pretty much it. And then uh, one more thing, uh, if you're doing uh, if you're thinking of doing some sort of watch list for yourself for the next day, you could just go to uh, when it, where it says real time. You change it to uh, one day back, and it shows you the scans for the day. So you can see you know couple of tickers here and then you can you know check it out for yourself you know check the chart for it you know like FEC see if that's good you know, or something like that so X IDQ so you could you know you could just go through the list and then find out what's good and you can kind of add it to your watch list uh, and uh, see if it's in play tomorrow so yeah, it's a pretty simple video. I hope this uh, helped you guys uh, set up your scanners and uh, happy trading.